Okay, but Twin Tech was on the spot, and both of them have the OnePlus Cosine X. And in fact, I'll show you guys how to solve this Twin Tech Wars in just one, two, two lines. So this is going to be a super shortcut to these two particular integrals, and I think they do these kind of things a lot on the JE test. So the more you know, the faster you can perform the exams. Yeah, and you'll see. And maybe you guys can comment down below and let me know to see if you guys like these solutions or not. Anyway, the first one we have 1 over, and look at we have that 1 plus cosine x, right? And let me tell you, whenever we have this, this happens to be the same as 2 times cosine square of x over 2. I am not making this up. This is equal to that. And this is actually going to be so wonderful because you see, we have 1 over cosine square, and that's just secant square, and integral of secant square is just tangent. And of course, you maintain the input to be the same, so you have the x over 2, but you will have to divide it by the derivative of x over 2, which you have to divide it by 1 half which is the same as multiply by 2. Multiply by 2, but you have that 1 over 2, so they cancel out. So in fact, the answer is just tangent of x over 2, and then you are done. Told you just two lines. And I put plus c, like this. And I think usually, for this kind of integrals, they will give you some numbers, like pi over whatever, up to whatever, pi over whatever. So that you can just use this and plug in the whatever numbers, and then get the whatever numbers you get at the end. That's pretty much it, right? So in that case, you don't have to go through a lot of the conjugate business whatsoever. And take a guess, how are we going to do this? Of course, same thing. This right here, we have the square root, and then inside here, we see that we have that 1 plus cosine x. It happens to be the same as 2 cosine square of x over 2. Spooky. Yes, today is Halloween, so scary, but it's use useful. Why? Let's see. Square, square root, square, square root cancel, so you just have cosine to the first power. The integral of cosine is just positive sine, and then you have to keep the input to be the same. And then you have to divide it by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of x over 2 is 1 half. Divide it by 1 half, as I say, multiply by 2. So I'll put down 2 right here. Well, don't forget, you still have the square root of 2 as a multiple, so you maintain the square root of 2 right here. Therefore, the answer is 2 times square root of 2 times sine of x over 2, and then you are done. Like this. Yeah, so what do you guys think about this? The more you know, the faster you can perform integrals sometimes, especially when you have a lot of identities in your pocket. Well, well, of course, I will have to show you guys how to come up with uh, this right here to convince you guys before we go, right? So, it's actually not that bad. Let me just remind you guys when we have cosine square theta, and this is just like when we have to integrate cosine square theta, we will have to use the following identity. This is the same as 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 2 theta. This is pretty much the double angle identity for cosine. And then of course, from here, I can multiply both sides by 2, so we get 2 cosine square theta equals 1 plus cosine of 2 theta. And this is pretty much it. You see, this is what we have, except for here, we have 2 theta, and this is just 1x. And this is not that bad at all, because we can just take theta to be x over 2. Right? We can just let theta to be x over 2. Well, well, we see that. Let me put this down first. We will have 1 plus cosine of, put this here, 2 and half cancel, so you just get x. And this has to be the same as that, which is 2 cosine square of the theta is x over 2. So you just put x over 2 here, right here. That's it. And then... Yeah, I didn't succeed. But anyway, it's okay. <laughs> this is pretty much it. So I think the more behind this is that the more identities that you remember, of course, you can just attack this calculation as much quicker. And yeah, that's it. You guys can leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about this kind of approach to these particular integrals. Yeah, anyway, if you are new, please subscribe to my channel. I like to do a lot of math for fun videos and also math lessons for my viewers and my students and for anyone who likes math. All right, so that's it.
1 over cosine square is secant square, and you can totally integrate secant square, right? It's just tangent. 